Hi everyone, today we are going to make a chatbot with the help of MLBot library. Okay, we are going to use our Microsoft Core Native Service Speech Recognition Bing Speech API. You have to go and search in my YouTube channel about Bing Speech API WPF application. You have to watch all the tutorial and afterward you will understand what is Microsoft speech recognition okay we are going to use a Microsoft speech recognition and we are going to use a ML bot library okay okay before we start this okay we have to download some uh, stuffs I, I will put this link to uh, in the description of this video youtube tutorial video okay and you can download the source code from here it's a ml bot uh, program okay it's in c sharp you have to download when you download this file then the file will be like this console bot okay it's called console bot 2.5 you can download this library and the, uh, ext extract the file and click on console bot 2.5 and then uh, click on Bing debug folder and you have to copy these three things okay ML ML uh, folder config folder okay and also the ML bot dot DLL file okay you have to copy this okay and then go to your uh, your app okay Bing speech API and, and click on Bing and debug and then paste it over here okay paste the files over here like mlbot.dll config folder and ml folder okay after that we are going to add the reference okay we are going to add two reference okay right click on add reference and then browse for the folder like this okay then select the ml bot and click add okay i i, I already added this uh, uh, ml bot tll okay i'm not going to add and after that we are ne we need another reference okay click on add reference click assemblies then scroll down then over here you can see system.speech library okay we are going to add this library and click ok okay after when you done with this we are going to add in some name spaces using system dot speech synthesis okay this is for synthesizer and using ml bot okay ml bot okay after that we are going to declare our speech synthesizer okay we are going to give a variable name our speech synthesizer we are going to we are going to make our synthesizer in global scope and then we are going to define a variable name global variable name Jarvis okay then after that okay after that we are going to make uh, one more event okay uh, we are going to make this event okay right now I'm not going to tell you about this whole code okay you can go and watch my previous video about being a speech API okay or here I I edit a one new event handler okay which is called on response received okay on response received uh, short phrases response received okay we are going to make this uh, event on response received okay this will uh, this event will work when the recognized uh, response is uh, rec recognized and received okay we are going to make this event 
and then we are going to use the dispatcher dot invoke action okay and then between this dispatcher invoke uh, action we are going to enable our speak button which is our speak button is this speak button okay we are going to enable it again okay because we set it to enable false okay we set it uh, to enable false over here on the speak button okay you can see when you click the button it will enable false then when the uh, recognized text is uh, recognized then we are going to enable again the uh, speak uh, speak button and then we are going to change our speech uh, our text box color back to white in uh, this one this is our new text box which is your speech okay I call it your speech okay we are going to change the background color uh, background to color back to white and background for color to black okay okay after that we are going to use our ml bot oh, we, we are going to make our bot we are going to use a bot class okay and then we are going to give a local variable name my bot is equal new bot okay then we are going to load the default setting of bot okay M we are going to give our variable uh, local variable name of our bot and then load setting okay this will load all the default settings okay then we are creating uh, and giving a bot a variable name has a argument okay like we are going to make a user for it user my user is equal new user then we are going to give our name over here you can name it whatever you like okay I, I, I just made it dream I just created uh, a name for it a dream and then we are going to pass our uh, bot variable name over here okay then we are going to accepting user input to false okay we are going to set user input to false okay we are going to set the is is accepting user input is equal false okay then we are going to load the ml files and config files okay we are going to give our variable name of our bot to dot load ml for from files okay we are going to then now we are we are going to allow again the you is exception user input is equal to true. then we are going to set set it back to true then I define another variable uh, string variable input is equal your your speech dot text which is our uh, this uh, this is our your speech uh, text box okay we are going to set the input to our speech if you want you cannot uh, you don't have to create input in string uh, string input you can just give this variable over here okay okay after that we are going to make a request I will call it request request is equal new request then we are we have to pass over here our text box okay which is uh, equal to our sp e, e dot result okay we are going to pass it over here and then we are going to pass our username that we created for user we created i created the name of the user is dream then we are going to pass bot variable name okay we are going to give a vo local variable name of the bot okay and after that we are going to make another class we are going to give a variable name to this class we are going to call it result is equal and then we are going to pass our chat bot okay our uh, bot name variable name dot chat from request chat from request okay but what is doing what this will do okay we are going to set our recognized text to our your speech dot text 
okay it will get it and it will set the input to recognize text over here and then we are going to pass our user over here and then we are going to chat with the bot okay okay after that we are going to make a result okay I we are going to define a result variable is equal my bot which is our bot variable name my bot and then we are going to chat with the request okay which is holding the speech recognition recognize text user okay and the bot itself okay now we are going to pass our response text is then we, first of all we are going to create uh, for e for each line we are going to make a new line we are going to make a new line and then we are going to concatenate with the Jarvis okay Jarvis we gave the name and then we are going to concatenate with the result output okay result output will contain all the re result of the chat it will display on our text box then we are going to make a new line for for our text box and then we are going to pass our synthesizer dot speak async we are going to give a variable name of our res result or output okay it will read the uh, result output okay okay now we are going to we have to pass this uh, your your speech text to our result okay or here you can see in response we have two response received rec uh, we have two uh, event handler on partial response received on re partial response received we have response received uh, event handler on response received event handler we are going to pass our your speech dot text is equal e dot partial result okay e dot partial result is our recognized text okay which is a spoken text recognize which is holding the uh, recognized spoken text okay and then it will display in our text box okay and about the speak button and the stop button you have to watch my previous uh, tutorial about the Bing speech API okay now that's it we done with this let's test it out okay I'm going to start the debugging what time is it It's getting late. January 17th, 2018, 940 and 36 seconds PM. Who are you? I ask myself that question, who am I? What is Microsoft? Microsoft is a giant software monopoly. What is Google? Google is a search engine. What is your favorite movie? My favorite movie is 2001 A Space Odyssey. Have you seen 2001 A Space Odyssey? No, I don't know about the Space, space Odyssey. Are you sure? Would you like to know? Oh yeah, we were talking about the Space Space Odyssey. Tell me about the new movies. Why, specifically? What can you do? I can chat with people on the web for you. Who is Bill Gates? President of Microsoft Nation. What should I ask from you? Are you asking me for advice? 
yes I am asking from you uh, advice that's interesting dot oh I see you are asking from you he or she twice <laughs> who or what is you he or she twice not a twice advice oh I get it what can you do for me I can chat with people on the web for you no I don't need it okay then no problem dot do you know anyone who needs it no I don't know about that okay then no problem dot would you like to know oh yeah we were talking about that now you can see it's uh, we can chat with the bot and it's uh, our bot is replying everything what we are asking from him you know this is a very simple chat bot that you can create with the Bing speech API and uh, also with the ML bot library okay okay see you next tutorial and please comment on my youtube channel about this tutorial and leave your comments and tell me what kind of s tutorial should i make in future okay okay bye from now see you in next tutorial